Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. We got a Sunday, Monday vlog happening here. Tomorrow I'm getting my life together because I have been back for a week now. Got back a week yesterday, which also feels kind of crazy. Like I don't, it feels like a lot longer that I've been back for. Doesn't feel like it's only been seven days. That feels ridiculous, but alas, it is the truth. <laughs> One whole week of just adjusting. Tomorrow is Monday, we're getting back to routine. We're getting back to, you know, all the good stuff. One big thing I have on my list for tomorrow outside of like, you know, work and regular stuff is that I have to swap out my closets. My closet right now is exploding. There's so much stuff in there. I can't like fit any more stuff in and spring is around the corner. There might be like a ton of snow on the ground right now, but that's gonna go away in the next week. And spring is here. I mean, it's officially spring technically. So I wanna do a closet swap, do some organizing. We go for a run tomorrow. I haven't ran in weeks and the 10K is coming up. I can't even, I can't even get into how upset I am that like I had to take this break from running because now I'm like so thrown off and I feel like I have to start at zero again, even though I should be okay and like I should build it back up, hopefully quickly, quicker than like starting. Tomorrow I'm getting back to it and I really hope the ankle's okay. I've given it plenty of time now to fully recover. So we'll see. Mmm, had a very chill, lazy morning, and this afternoon I'm getting together with Sarah, I'm helping her with a couple brand deals, and should be a nice outing, a nice Sunday, and then I plan to finish A Court of Mist and Fury today. It's gonna be a good day. Good vibes, everybody. Good vibes. Okay, I procrastinated long enough. It's time to get ready. It's um 1.30. I'm meeting Sarah at 2.30 at the Rogers Center, so it's time. I've just been on the couch. Chillin'. It's exactly what I did yesterday as well. <laughs> but Splug is actually sponsored by Kenzie. I actually get so many questions to this day about what laser hair removal device I use. I use one from Kenzie. This is the IPL Pro Plus. Very fancy. I'm gonna use this on my underarms and my face. Because if you didn't know, I... I used to have like a lot of hair on my face. I've been lasering for years and it's something that obviously you have to keep up with, but it has done wonders for me. Because I've used it for years, I don't have to use it as consistently as you do when you first start, but you do start seeing results within like two to three weeks of using this. I'm gonna go up to level five for my underarms. It's literally so simple. You just put it where you want to laser and then so simple. Relatively pain-free, like I'm not gonna say you feel nothing. It is a laser hair device. So you kind of have to expect a little something, but you get full results in 12 weeks and then I just do maintenance touch-ups like every month every two months kind of whenever I feel like I need a touch up. I've been lasering for years. I love it so much. It really just reduces the amount of hair that you get, how fast it grows back. Like it just really minimizes any kind of maintenance and upkeep. But you can use this pretty much anywhere on your body, which is pretty sweet. It's hugely convenient if you're like uncomfortable going to get lasered by a professional out there. Professional treatments are also extremely expensive. They add up really fast. And obviously with like maintenance touch ups, it's just like really expensive. Whereas this is a one time purchase. Overall, it's much more affordable to get something at home. It's much more convenient. You can do it whenever you want. Anyways, let me just do this one arm. <laughs> Other arm and then we're gonna do the face. It mostly just feels like a warming sensation. There are some areas like when you first get started that feel a little bit spicier, but because I don't really have a lot of hair, it just, it doesn't hurt that bad. Just curly things, lasering the chin hairs. <laughs> they are stubborn, those chin hairs, my God. This device is really nice because it's speedier, I think. It's a Sunday for the girls. <laughs> oh, that one's spicy. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go down the neck. And then I gotta get myself ready because I'm gonna have to leave in like 20 minutes. Done. It takes no time at all. Perfect little touch up. Seriously, I love that. I love my Kenzie. I think it is a great product, great device. And for those of you that have been recently asking about my code, I'm gonna have a link down below for a little discount. Slay, worth it. Okay, let's get ready really fast. And then I gotta put on another shirt because there is snow on the ground. I cannot wear a tank top outside yet. Soon though. I'm gonna try the Tarte foundation that I got. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be great. Maybe, okay. It works. Might be like a little light. I don't know. One of the reasons why I love this foundation, the Tarte Hydroflex, is because it's really lightweight and I feel like you don't have to have like the perfect, oh it's for sure a little light I think, the perfect perfect shade because you can blend it really easy. My perfect shade is 32N and this is 32S. Yeah, I feel like I look pale. A little ghostly actually. I think it's mostly the foundation on the lips that is really throwing me. It's kind of pale. Okay, we're gonna bump it up with
Okay, we got ourselves ready. We're heading out, it's two o'clock. Cooper's here in three minutes. It's actually such a nice day, so I'm really looking forward to getting out there. After Sarah and I are done with whatever she needs help shooting, we are gonna get ramen. I'm honestly super over the winter coat thing and I'm, I think I'm gonna go leather jacket. This might be something I regret, but I just opened the door and it feels kind of nice. We're just gonna hope for the best. It's gonna be fine. Anyways, let's go have a day. Hello. Have a great day. Thanks. 2.30 on the dot. Now we're just gonna wait for Sarah. like a golf club. <laughs> okay, one hand like this hand up. Yeah, no, other way. Good job! <laughs> no, try and slap it. Just like swing it. Try to do, yeah, like. Yeah, like that. Wow. You beat me, good job. <laughs> Good work, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> that was fun. That was exhilarating. Just took the cutest photo here. <laughs> we'll show you momentarily. Oh, they're like so hard. No, they're not. Yeah, they're not. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh my. Thank you. This is hilarious. Dear Sarah, the love, love hug. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Starting strong. Corn croquettes. It looked good. It's best. 5.30 on a Sunday. Ramen. It's a perfect day. It's hot. Really? Like too hot to bite into? Oh yeah. Mm. Thank you very much. Wow. We got the tonkatsu black, both of us. And it looks so good. I'm so happy. It's a perfect Sunday. I am stuffed. I am stuffed. That ramen was so good and the egg, delicious. I'm kind of weird with eggs. Like I'm not good with yolk. Yolk kind of freaks me out. So for years I avoided eating the ramen egg and then I discovered how delicious it is and it weirdly doesn't freak me out. It's so good. Great Sunday afternoon with Sarah. Also love that it's still light outside. It's almost 7 p.m. and there is still sunshine coming in here. The hardest part of the year is over. It's all up from here. 
vibes are high. And you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna finish A Court of Mist and Fury. I'm gonna do it right now to the couch and then I have to start my book club book, I think. Anyways, let's read it. I have like an hour and 20 minutes left, so I think it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna finish it with the physical book too. Okay, I'm just saying it now. If you don't want spoilers, skip to this time. Chapter 59, The War Has Begun, I think. Feyre's, she's on her journey and things are about to get real with the adder. Feyre's going out there and Reese is calling for her through the bond and she's like, not now. Okay, I'm going in. Chapter 60. I just finished chapter 61. They've made it to the cauldron. I'm so intrigued what's gonna happen. I don't know. What is she gonna do? Uh, hmm? Chapter 63. Has been shot. <gasps> Lucian and Tamlin stepped into the light. What's gonna happen? He was working with the king. Of course he was. Tamlin's delusional. Like, come on. <gasps> She's winnowed. Oh no. Oh, it's just the queens. Oh, the sisters. <laughs> Her sisters are there now. This is very bad. Oh my gosh. The king is gonna make one of the sisters immortal. Oh my god, Cassian's wings. Elaine is going into the cauldron. Oh my god. <sighs> Lucian and Elaine. Mates? What the hell? Oh my god. Break the bond. Oh my god. Snap the bond. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. This is not right. Oh my god, chapter 68, we're sand. <laughs> okay, they're still mated, everything is fine. Couldn't break the mating bond. <gasps> they got secretly married. She's the high lady of the night court. Oh, not wife, she's just a high lady. My queen. <sighs> Until then we go to war. Holy shit. Chapter 69, Feyre. Oh my god. What an ending. What an ending. I've been working on this book for what feels like so long. So long. Like at least a month. And it's, oh, it's 8.40. I thought it was earlier, but I did it. 8.40 already. I guess I'm like going to bed in 20. Go to bed early. Start the day off strong tomorrow. But wow, this was a great book. But it definitely like, I wish I had more time to read it where it just didn't take me as long because I feel like when a book takes you so long, it just kind of, just kind of ready to finish it. I just, you know, I don't really want to feel for a book this good. Very good though. Like I'm very intrigued to see what's going to be in the third book, but that one's so long. So I'm like, I got to figure out when I'm going to start that. Probably after my book club book. We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to start the next book and I will see you in the morning. Good morning, happy Monday, it's 10 a.m. I have my coffee, I have my little bagel thin, which means I'm going for a run today. Honestly, I'm really nervous, but like I put my workout stuff on. I knew that I should put it on immediately so I didn't like procrastinate this. I'm just like really nervous that I'm gonna just suck. <laughs> In my head, I'm like, let's do a 5K or a 3K. I don't, I, like, I don't know what I should be doing trying to get back into it. I know that I should go as slow as possible. But last time I tried to get back into it, I went way faster than I've been ever because I was so excited to be back out there that I'm like nervous about it. So I know I'm gonna have to like just jog, like a very slow little jog out there just to, you know, dip my toes back in. 
I don't know. I'm not like excited about it because I'm also nervous that my ankle's gonna hurt, which I like really can't. Like it's been so long since this happened. Ugh. Either way, that's how I'm gonna start the day. Well, before that, I'm gonna get a little bit of work done while I digest this little mini bagel and drink my coffee. I'm gonna get a little bit of work done. Start the Monday off strong. Go for a run, a run walk, I'm sure. Mm. Maybe stop at Whole Foods on the way back as well. Get some chicken, get some stuff for the week. And then we're gonna organize my closet. That's high on today's list. And I also have two videos to edit, so we'll see what gets done. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do it. I just did some stretches, stretch at the calves, the whole thing. I think instead of like a really slow jog, because that sounds kind of horrible, my mom suggested I just do a run walk. So like listen to music, one song run, one song walk, and then just kind of go back and forth and then I can build back up. So like if all goes well today, then my next run I can do like maybe two songs run, one song walk, that kind of thing. I don't know, we'll see. I'm so nervous, but I'm excited. But like truly getting back into something after a break like this is so intimidating. Like I feel like, not good and I was feeling so good about my running it's fine you gotta you gotta get back sometime and so some time is now hoping for the best such a successful morning let me stop my app at 7.37 kilometers not bad i am so thrilled to say there was not even like an ounce of ankle pain and the last time i went for a run like i felt it pretty early on i was like oh she's coming back a little bit and then when i got home like i definitely felt it like it wasn't bad but then it got bad my dad was like okay take some Advil as soon as you get home to stop any maybe inflammation and then see how that goes. That was great. And doing the run walk per song was hugely beneficial. I feel like that was so good. I got enough time to catch my breath and then feel good running again. Anyways, I feel fantastic. I'm so happy. It was so fun. I'm so happy right now. The fact that I could do that without feeling any pain and like I felt really solid. My pace was really good. It definitely was a lot faster than the pace I was running at consistently before, but I think, you know, running at that pace and then walking is really, that was solid. I can take the rest of my vitamins until we're at it. Solid, solid, solid. We're back, we gotta be back because we got the 10K coming up in May and that's coming up quick. I'm gonna make some lunch in a bit, but obviously went to Whole Foods on my way back. Got some more of these little bagel thins. Like they're just really good before a run. I got some ginger and a lemon because I'm gonna make my ginger shots I think this afternoon. Green beans, just some cream, cherry tomatoes, sweet potatoes, we're gonna roast, a cucumber. And then lastly, I got four chicken breasts. So I think I'm gonna make a salad with chicken for lunch today and then roast up some stuff for dinner. Okay, I'm gonna sit for a sec, look at my emails and then We'll make some little lunch. Okay, for lunch I have my cut up chicken. I have half an avocado with some seasonings. I just did salt, pepper, garlic, cayenne, onion powder. And now I'm gonna mix the lettuce in. And I'm gonna coat all that with the avocado and then mix in the chicken. You know, could add some veggies to this as well, but it's just really good, really simple. Probably gonna add some chili onion crunch, actually. I haven't had this in a while and I am so excited. Happy to have my chicken. Just a good, just a good day. Starting the week off so strong. By the time I get into bed tonight, I'm gonna feel so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay, it is juice time. I washed and cut up all my ginger and my lemon, and we're gonna get juice in. I'm actually so excited. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but then I just keep forgetting. So that's kind of how it goes. I'm like, how do I do this again? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. It's not working. Okay, so it says this has to be locked in to work. That's pretty locked. Must be in locked position to operate user. Place the feeding chute onto the... Oh no. Oh, that feels right. Okay, we're back in action. Nice. 
This is what we got from all the ginger. That's about it. It's like maybe two, three shots, but we're gonna add the lemon. Okay, and that's about it. This is all the juice we got from one lemon and all that ginger. And then here's all the pulp. I'm gonna add some cayenne because I feel like any health shot usually has some cayenne in it. And I am personally not freaked out by dice. I'm gonna actually also add some turmeric. I feel like this is also always in the health shot. <laughs> We got four little juice shots. How cute are these? I think they're adorable. I think they're so cute. Got the little jars on Amazon, but voila, health is wealth, baby. I'm fucking out here, man. Okay, love you. Bye. Matthew is so cute. Had a nice little catch up with Matt, man. He's the kind of guy that loves talking on the phone like he is not a texter he's a rare breed but he always calls he's such a little cutie and i can't sit still when i'm on the phone so naturally i clean works out get a nice little patch up a nice little clean also i've been editing my vlog for the last little while it's actually six o'clock now and i think i'm gonna have to re-dye my hair because every time i've been going in the sun it lightens up and then it has like a red tone i look forward to when my hair just fully grows out and i don't have to you know have this upkeep but alas I was blonde for a long time. It kind of makes sense. Six o'clock now. I'm going to do my closet before it gets dark because I know as soon as it gets dark, I'm not gonna wanna do anything. So let's clear out my closet. Jump scare alert. <laughs> my closet is overflowing. I mean, it's not like so bad up here, but down here, bad. This is the worst of it. Like it's just this one section that I have to go through right now. And it's gonna be really easy because there's things that I can take out like immediately. Like I know I'm not gonna be really wearing this again. This is something that I would probably sell. Wore this in Paris and I just don't see myself wearing this around the city. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I might wear this skirt this weekend. I'm gonna hold on to it, but like this would go upstairs for another occasion. Also, I didn't make my bed this morning. Please disregard. Anyways, this is gonna be easy to go through. Like a lot of the chunky stuff and the winter stuff I can move. Um, Let's start at the top. I have a lot of shirts that I go through every single day and I'm like, I'm not gonna wear it, not gonna wear it, not gonna wear it, not gonna wear it. So let's try to be serious. We're gonna bring this upstairs and uh, I'm gonna put music on to make this a fun experience. Okay, I just took out all of this, kind of a lot from the top, but I'm just trying to be honest with myself and be like, okay, what am I actually wearing? And I've grabbed none of this in the last four months. So I really should just bring it upstairs. It's just causing me stress when I try to get ready because it seems more overwhelming having all this stuff that I'm not gonna wear right now. I will say it's really fun having the closet upstairs because I go back up there months later and I get to see everything with fresh eyes. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cute. And then I bring it back down. Sometimes you just need space from it. Right now I'm looking at all of it and I'm like, no, but I might change my mind in six months or less, so it's kind of fun having that closet. <laughs> okay, let's do this part. This is the overwhelming part, so. This feels so much better. I'm keeping some like chunky sweaters down here because we can't really count winter as being for sure gone until May, probably, but this feels like I can breathe opening my closet again. This feels so much better. Okay, we're gonna bring these upstairs and see if there's anything up there that we wanna bring down. Also, yes, I'm still in my my running clothes. I'm gonna wash my hair tonight and I was like, I don't really care. <laughs> got pile number one. Also, I really would like to sell some of the stuff. I know I asked last time and then I didn't get around to it, but if there's any of you living in Toronto that sell clothes online, like professionally, let me know because I think the only way I'm gonna get around to it is if I hire somebody, so let me know. We got pile number two. Oh, lots of spring summer stuff over there. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, that was hugely successful. Is there anything we want to bring down? This top, bodysuit, so spring. Oh my God, this shirt too. So pretty. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like I forget the clothes that I have that are up here when I swap out for the seasons. This is so much fun. So many options. Like some of this is definitely too summer for now, but I'm gonna bring a few things down. I love the summer colors. Okay, I'm gonna stop here for now and we'll circle back when like winter's truly behind us. That feels so good. I'm so glad I did that now. 
I'm gonna preheat my oven so I can roast my veggies in like half an hour. And until then, I'm going to just do some editing. Once the oven's done, I'll call it for the day, have some dinner, have a nice little bath. I gotta read my book club book because I have book club on Wednesday, today's Monday. And I started it last night, but I'm like 5% in. So bath and book, perfect way to end a solid Monday. I don't even know what we're doing for dinner, but we're gonna figure it out once um, this stuff is in the oven. We're roasting up some sweet potato and the green beans. Just gonna season the way that I always do with just some olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, you know. Nothing crazy. The veggies are done, 20 minutes in the oven at 425. I think I'm just gonna make a simple rice bowl and then make some spinach and then throw in these two things and see what else I do. We have base bowl, we have just spinach, uh, green beans, sweet potato and rice. I'm also gonna add some edamame that I have left over. I'm just gonna plop them in there. This was a lot of edamame to get. And we ate so much of it at the restaurant. So you can only imagine how much we were served. It was like aggressive. But this is kind of coming in clutch because I've just been adding edamame from this to a ton of meals. So good. Just a nice little veggie bowl. I don't know what kind of sauce I want to throw on. I'm going to make some sauce with this Greek yogurt. And then after this, I'm getting right in the bath. A wonderful night, a wonderful day, and a great week ahead. Stunning. Actually, I kind of think I'm going to do just soy sauce and hot sauce and skip out on the Greek yogurt today. <laughs> I'm trying to add that stuff to everything at the moment. And you know, not everything, not everything needs it. And that's dinner. <laughs> This is my favorite site, Bubble Bath and my book, which is a huge contrast from the book we read last month. Like, this is a joke. This is a joke. Anyways, see you on the other side. I stayed in the bath too long. Too long, it's now 11.30. I just blew up my hair because I didn't want to sleep on it wet. I always regret when I do that because it just never looks good when I do it the next day. So we've blown it out. I also hadn't used the curling attachments for my Dyson in a while and I'm remembering why. I really like them. It looks awesome. We're just gonna do skincare, which really all I'm gonna do today is a bit of bit of bit of bit of Tatcha, the essence. A little bit of that. Bath was great though. I had a great time. Didn't read any of my book. Not even a moment of it. I'm gonna use the Dermalogica Pro Collagen Banking Serum. I was just texting and voice noting people and it was like a social time in the bath. So I think I'm gonna get into bed and read like, I don't know, 15 minutes of this book. Even though it's already 11.30 and like, I should be going to sleep right now. So good. Lastly, we're just gonna top it with some moisturizer. This is the Intensive Moisture Balance. Dinner was also delicious. My bowl turned out fantastically. Loved every bite of it. And overall, like really a productive day. I also shot a brand deal for TikTok, which is also why I think I procrastinated in the bath. Lots of editing for tomorrow, but overall solid day. Like a really good Monday. The fact that my ankle doesn't hurt at all is a huge win. Kai is also gonna give me some mobility exercises so that it doesn't come back. Cause I think that's part of the issue. My ankle's just really weak. So I'm gonna add those into the routine. Is that a mosquito? It is. Don't, don't go, don't, oh no! Shit, it's gonna eat me in my sleep, I already know. It's too late now, I've lost it. Anyways, I'm gonna crawl myself into bed. I'm gonna take my little magnesium capsule because that makes a huge difference in my sleep quality, like huge. And it doesn't make me feel hungover or groggy in the morning, so we're gonna stick to it because it's making a really big difference. And I love that for me. I'm definitely back in the time zone now, but I just, I got weird sleep. I've made it to my favorite place. My bad. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Lots of regular life home stuff here. <laughs> Just the regular day to day, but I hope that's cool. Let me know what's going on in your world. If you made it to the end of this video, let me know your rose and thorn of the week. I think it'll be fun to see in the comments, but I'm gonna end this here because I gotta like turn off the lights and start winding down. I'm too awake at the moment. Actually, my museum. I almost forgot. Anyways, I love you so much. Thank you for watching the vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye.